Now this video is on a piece of improvised, meaning you make it yourself, engineer equipment. And it's one of these. It's a detonating cord clip. And I will show you how to make one. And first I'm going to show you when you use it. So I made a bunch of them here. Now this trick was created by the sapper school for tying in your charges onto your line main or your ring main quickly when you are under fire. When you're trying to put in a breach, you're trying to clear mines, you're trying to clear wire or whatever obstacles there. So we have our charge already set up in our demo bag. And then on the end of it, on our branch line, we have it set up roughly like this, okay? We got our demo clip on here. The cut end is towards the short end of our branch line and we got it pulled through like this to lock it in place inside our bag. We would put out our charge, string our branch line back to our line main or our ring main, pull the running end out. Underneath our branch line or ring main, back in through the clip, make sure you have at least your six inch tail and then you pull the whole thing tight and you lock the clip onto your branch line or your ring main or your line main. And it's tied in quickly. It takes like half a second compared to tying a Yuli knot or a sapper knot, which I'll tie a Yuli knot quick. That's over, under, over, under, back over. Back over. And yes, it doesn't look that good because it's training deck cord and this stuff is old. But uh, pull this tight. like so. And then your uh, six inch tail is supposed to be away from the point of initiation. So that little deck cord clip cuts out a lot of seconds that you are out in the open under enemy fire. Now how you make these? You take an expended chem light or chemical light or light stick. It's been used and first you got to drain all the calamine out of this. Now you can do this with a regular multi-tool no problem but it's just easier to use. <sighs> easier to use a uh, utility knife. Cut the end off drain it out along with the pieces of glass tube that are in there. If you can kind of see that down in there. You want all that out of there. Then you go through, cut off the other end, so that you got your nice wide open tube. You then go through and clean this out. You wash this out with water It'll work best with uh, hot water to clean all the calamine out. Now, if you do this out in the field, I'd recommend digging a small hole and draining the calamine into it because of the bits of glass that's in there. You don't want someone stepping on it, especially one of your people. So I have here cleaned tube that I did yesterday. Now what you're going to do is about three-eighths of an inch to a half inch in from the end, you're going to use the point of your knife to bore a hole. If you want to zoom in. Make as good of a hole as you can. 
go directly opposite on the other side. Do the same thing, bore a hole. The diameter of the hole should be about or close to the diameter of debt cord, like so. Now, actual military chem lights are a little bit cleaner when you bore it out. This is a civilian one, and for some reason the plastic's a lot softer, so what I'm doing on these, I'm kind of cleaning them out by just using a drill bit. Just to clean out the garbage from the holes so you get a nice hole going through. When you're in the field, all you really need is the tip of your knife and it does it for you. Then go through, scrape out the inside to clean off the burrs on the inside on both holes. And go through, scrape off the excess material around the outside of the hole on the outside. As best you can. Now what we're going to do, we're going to cut a V-notch in here. So it's going to be kind of shallow for a V. Say figure around 15 to 30 degrees. It's not very deep. So one notch and then other notch like so. Do the same thing to the other side. I got a little piece stuck in there, so I'll just clean that out. So now we got our V-notch with hole underneath it. The deck cord from your line main locks into this hole here. And then you cut it roughly an inch in length. Just roll it back and forth to get it to start. And there you go. Now when you get to the end, the final two inches, you go through Bore the holes on each end, do your U-notch or your V-cut on each end, and then cut it roughly in the center. Because it's a lot safer and easier to work with that two inch piece than an individual one inch piece. You should be able to get out one of these for every inch, inch and a half of chem light tube. So, did I use these all the time when I was in? No, I was old fashioned. I usually tied a girth hitch in with an extra turn when I did my stuff or I did a sapper knot. Uh, I will have to experiment to remember how I did my sapper knots and maybe I will show you in a separate video some of the different ways for connecting in your branch lines to your line main or your ring main but there you go field expedient or homemade debt cord clips for your branch lines it's quick and simple you can do it in the field uh, it's a great way to get a use out of your expended chem lights that you used to use for marking stuff with and it does cut down on the time you are on the breach site under enemy fire trying to get your charges tied in so you can get that breach in through the enemy's defenses get into their trenches and start messing them up close close in hand to hand there you go now for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia Movements, always remember, essay ons.